So Dollar Tree has come out with their own vinyl paper is what it's called. I was only able to get my hands on the glitter one, so I hesitated to do this tutorial, um, but maybe you also only have your hands on the glitter one and want to try it out. So I have done a little bit of testing around and I could not find a perfect setting already in Cricut Design Space to cut this. So I had to make my own. So I'm going to quickly show you how to make a custom material cut setting in Cricut Design Space. So you're going to pick your image. I have this best mom ever. Um, it's just one I found in Design Space. Then go to make it. Make sure your machine is connected. Click continue. If you have an Explore Air or Explore Air 2, you're going to want to make sure that your knob is to the custom setting before doing this. And then you'll get to this page here on your screen. Go ahead and click browse all materials. All right, then you've probably looked through all these materials, but I've never, I bet you've never noticed this material settings right here at the bottom. Go ahead and click that. All right, and then this shows you the awesome cut pressure numbers of all of your materials. You probably have never looked at this before. I know I hadn't, um, but looking through, I couldn't find any that worked trying things out. So I made my own. So to make your own, go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and click on add new material. Then you'll type in what you want. So I would call it Dollar Tree Glitter Vinyl Paper. Okay, and then go ahead and click save. Then it's going to come up here and it guesses 150. It always does that. It's just the medium number, I don't know. But for this glitter vinyl, I did a little testing. You want 145. The 150 will rip it to shreds, but 145 works. Don't ask me why. Okay, and then go ahead and click save. All right, that's it. Go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. Click done. It will refresh all of your items. And then when you browse material, if I type in dollar tree, then it comes up. I already had done it, so that's my original one. This is the one I showed you guys. Click on it. Press done, okay, and then you can go ahead and cut your glitter vinyl and it should work just fine. 